Now, without thinking about it, we're just gonna... There we go. Ever so slightly pile this on. Painting is a little bit about trial and error, mixing new colors up until you get the ones you want. It's going to create a gray color, but it's a way of mixing. Okay. There you have it. Okay, we're going to zoom out right here. Tilt it down just a tiny bit here. And then... <clears throat> okay, I say we made it a little bit more abstract. Okay. Now then... Now back to the part where we clean the brush, okay? When you clean this brush off, make sure you're, you know, scrubbing the neck off of it. And I'll direct you to the sink. So this is the sink I'll use to clean off my brush in. camera around back to my setup like this and uh, ooh, we're back all right now we're going to zoom back to the picture that we once had before okay now let's go back into the red now <laughs> don't sweat this guys just because you don't have you have a lot of paint in there doesn't mean you can't add any more. So we're just gonna add just a little more of the red. Permanent red is right here. Control your colors, guys. If you need to clean off your palette, do so. We're gonna be moving out of the Statue of Liberty in a little tiny bit, so if you need to pause this video, you know you can. Because uh I may want to clean off part of my palette right here. And uh, while you're doing that, kind of take what I, you know, taught you and sort of just, you know, let it mingle in your mind. Let it sink in, try and make a schedule, make an agenda, plan everything out that I just taught you. And just take your time and be patient with your work and let all these magical, uh, all, all these magical uh, elements come to life in your picture. They're not elements of destruction, they are elements of creation. And that's a term that's always used in art because it's basically what you do a lot is create. Gonna take our fan brush here, and then we're gonna take our spray bottle. <laughs> and we're gonna begin to paint in some more of this stuff. And a deep breath now, deep breaths. We don't want to get any paint on our clothes like I already did. <laughs> Mostly it's all red and blue, mostly National Anthem, Star Spangled Banner colors. There we go, see? Look at that nice little red line we just painted in. Uh, isn't that crazy? Not, not yet though, we're getting there. Okay. Now all we're doing is just uh, keep brushing away our palette. And we're dipping our 
uh, paint, our red paint, into some white. And we're just gonna... Look at what I just did there. Creating, you know, detailed depth. Now we should be doing this with a little tiny brush. Okay, now look at that. Uh, I know you can't see it because the camera's not in good focus to see. That's because, you know, if you're looking at camera terms, you always have to get up and adjust the lens if you're using a Canon Rebel camera, and that's the brand I'm saying. Canon Rebels are cameras that, you know, have very, you know, sensitive lens and eye focus, you know. It's good to know this stuff for whenever you're taking high-res photography, but you should be keeping aware that no painter likes photography. But if you if you go out and if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you get a very professional photographer to you know photograph your artwork and. you know, put them on your website or your catalog, you know, saying that you have nice, you know, pictures and someone want to hire you to do tattoos or something. Uh, but let's not go there too far now. Well, let's dip that, uh, color back into my white and my wet coffee can and we'll start on my blending these little chaps in. Uh, what I mean by chaps I mean these white edges that create you know the firework. Okay, look at that. Hmm. Alright, maybe you can create a little depth in there with the red. Uh -huh, and then uh, we move on to the next one. Now, uh, same as before, we're going to use a little bit of, you know, the permanent red uh, by using, uh, you work in, here's how you do it. You work in two faint brushes at a time now. You know, if you're an art professor, you know, who still needs to get his foot in the door like me. Uh, you should be working with these tools. Now, as far as, as, far as I know. Yeah, you can use these paintings for the job market, but you gotta be clever.